Hey guys, in this video I'd like to show you how to rip DVDs to iTunes. Um, as you can see here, this is um, my movies um, section in iTunes. Um, I only bought three of these um, movies through the um, iTunes store. I bought that one, that one and that one. And all of the um, rest of the movies here are um, DVDs which I have um, ripped and added to iTunes. Um, this video will be specifically for Mac OS X. Um, the first tool that I'd like to take a look at is Handbrake. Um, this is available for both Windows and Mac OS X. However, um, the next tool I am going to use is only compatible um, with Macs. Um, so you can use this tool to um, rip um, DVDs whether you are on um, you know, Windows or Mac OS X. Um, what you do is you click the source button and you select um, the DVD and click open. Um, it then scans the DVD for all of the um, different title menus. Um, this DVD only has two. Some of them you know might have one or two all the way up to about 40. And then you select um, the title which you think has the movie. Um, this is usually the longest title. If um, the DVD has about 20 different titles, you usually select the longest title and it usually selects it automatically for you. And on the side here, we have a few um, predefined um, settings. Um, I personally always set it to Apple Universal, um, so I can play a movie in iTunes on my iPhone, Apple TV, etc. Um, and I also like to um, rename the movies. Um, if, you know, the name is unrecognisable. Uh, so this is a movie here. Um, and because I've already um, done the um, setting on the side here, I don't really have to muck around with all of this. Though if you don't want a predefined um, setting, then you can change the format and you can muck around with the video um, codec and the frame rate and the audio subtitles, etc. You know, Handbrake is a really good tool. Then once you've done that, you just um, click start and it probably takes about um, 20 minutes for a 90 minute DVD or maybe 30 minutes for a 2 hour DVD. Um, I'm not going to do it since I've already done it um, with this um, movie. Um, though the second um, tool I would like to show you is called iFlix. Um, this is only available on Mac OS X. Um, Handbrake is um, free, by the way. I believe that iFlix um, costs about um, $20. Um, I'm not sure if I have any um, DVDs that I haven't added to iTunes, actually. Um, so what am I going to do here? Okay, I'm just going to locate one of my movies already in iTunes. It shouldn't matter. So if I click American Pie, um, it will now find all of the information for the film with the title American Pie. Uh, it will, um, you know, generate the name, you know, um, the release date, the actors, directors, producers, screenwriters, the tagline, description. Um, all of the information is downloaded from the movie um, database.org. Um, and it basically gets all of the information, um, you know, 98% of the time all of the information is correct. Um, you know, sometimes the content rating is incorrect or if it's HD by default I change it to SD because I usually rip them, you know, as an SD movie. And then um, once you do that, I like to select uh, Move Original to Trash. So if I have the movie on the desktop and it's just called American Pie, um, then I want it to move the original to the trash and to add the movie to the um, iTunes movie folder with all of the metadata. Uh, the reason why iFlix is so good is because it adds all of this information to iTunes. So here I have American Pie in iTunes and if I click um, Get Info, all of the um, information here has been um, inserted from um, iFlix. Um, obviously, if you add a ripped movie to iTunes, iTunes and Apple won't help you get the information from their database unless you buy the movie from them. So, yeah, I highly recommend this tool. If you just want to get uh, movies into iTunes and you don't want to um, spend any money, then I recommend um, using Handbrake. Um, it is a free tool for both Windows and Mac. So, if you want all of the album um, artwork and a few other things, then I recommend getting iFlix. 
Um, iFlex isn't the perfect tool, though it works, you know, very well. You know, with the Simpsons movie here, the album artwork isn't in English, which is a shame. And this um, Lucia Lucia movie wasn't in their database. So I made um, an account at the moviedb.org and I, um, you know, um, made an article for this movie. And then when I tried the tool again, it was instantly avail um, available with all of the information. Um, so I highly recommend using both of these tools if you have a Mac or just um, using Handbrake if you have Windows. Um, if you have any questions, then feel free to ask me and thank you for watching.